Listening section. In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section with special directions for each part. Part one. Questions one to four. In this part of the test, you will hear some dialogues and questions spoken in English. The dialogues and the questions will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers are saying. After you listen to the dialogue and the question about it, read the five possible answers and decide which one would be the best answer to the question you have heard. Now listen. To a sample question, you will hear. I don't know what to order. I could drink everything on the menu. Why don't you try guava juice, orange juice, or iced tea? Guava juice sounds good. I'll take it. I think I'll have a big glass of cola float. What will the woman do? A, take a guava juice. B. Order an orange juice. C. Try an iced tea. D. Order a cola float. E. Drink mineral bottled water. The best answer to the question, "What will the woman do?" is order a cola float. Therefore, you should answer D. Number one. Excuse me, sir. I'm very sorry to say this. I found the room smelly, and the bathroom was very dirty. It's the most unsatisfactory service I've ever found. I do apologize for this inconvenience. So, what will you do to solve this problem? I hope you don't mind moving to room seven zero one six. It is larger and has a better view. What is the woman complaining about? Number one. Excuse me, sir. I'm very sorry to say this. I found the room smelly, and the bathroom was very dirty. It's the most unsatisfactory service I've ever found. I do apologize for this inconvenience. So, what will you do to solve this problem? I hope you don't mind moving to room seven zero one six. It is larger and has a better view. What is the woman complaining about? Number two. What activity did you carry out yesterday? International seminar. Where was the seminar held? At the educational department. What activity did the woman carry out? Number two. What activity did you carry out yesterday? International seminar. Where was the seminar held? At the educational department. What activity did the woman carry out? Number three. May I have your order, sir? What is the speciality of this restaurant? Fish baked in pastry, sir. Fish baked in pastry. Yes, sir, but we also have special beef steak. Roasted chicken with tuna apple sauce and fried shrimps with oyster sauce. Well, I'll try the restaurant speciality. What will the man do? Number three. May I have your order, sir? What is the speciality of this restaurant? Fish baked in pastry, sir. Fish baked in pastry. Yes, sir, but we also have special beef steak, 
roasted chicken with tuna apple sauce, and fried shrimps with oyster sauce. Well, I'll try the restaurant speciality. What will the man do? Number four. Hi. Victor, do you have time to talk today? I'd love to, but sorry, I have a lot of work to do today. Oh, what have you got going on? Well, I've got to finish a report. Then I have to drive to the airport to pick up a client. After that, I have lunch. Then I have to attend a senior staff meeting. What can we conclude from the dialogue? Number four. Hi. Victor, do you have time to talk today? I'd love to, but sorry, I have a lot of work to do today. Oh, what have you got going on? Well, I've got to finish a report. Then I have to drive to the airport to pick up a client. After that, I have lunch. Then I have to attend a senior staff meeting. What can we conclude from the dialogue? Part two, questions five to seven. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear some incomplete dialogues spoken in English, followed by four responses, also spoken in English. The dialogues and the responses will be spoken twice. They will not be printed. In your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers are saying. You have to choose the best response to each question. Now listen to a sample question. You arrived late again. I'm sorry, ma'am. The bus had already left when I arrived at the shelter. But you promised that you wouldn't come late again. What does the boy probably respond? A, I'm sorry to hear that. B, I really appreciate it. C, I do apologize, ma'am. D, no problem, ma'am. The best answer to the question, "What does the boy probably respond?" is, "I do apologize, ma'am." Therefore, you should choose answer C. Number five. What a great motorcycle you have, Alex. Thank you, Sandra. I just finished modifying it. It looks a lot different. What did you do to it? Not much. I had it painted in a brighter color. And added some new accessories. How may the woman compliment the man about what he did? A. It's all right. B, I can buy your motorcycle. C, it's a great job. D, how much does it cost? Number five. What a great motorcycle you have, Alex. Thank you, Sandra. I just finished modifying it. It looks a lot different. What did you do to it? Not much. I had it painted in a brighter color, and added some new accessories. How may the woman compliment the man about what he did? A, it's all right. B, I can buy your motorcycle. C, it's a great job. D, how much does it cost? Number six. What do you think of this brand new refrigerator? What is the woman's response? A, I think the other one is better. B, thank you. That's very kind of you. C, I wish I could have a small one like this. D, you really make me angry. Number six. 
What do you think of this brand new refrigerator? What is the woman's response? A. I think the other one is better. B. Thank you. That's very kind of you. C. I wish I could have a small one like this. D. You really make me angry. Number seven. So, you graduated from Gajah Mada University? Yes, sir. What major did you take? Accounting, sir. Okay. What is your grade point average? It's 3.8. Excellent. You should be able to get a good job. What does the woman probably respond? A. I don't know. B. I hope not. C. I'm happy. D. I hope so. Number 7. So, you graduated from Gajah Mada University? Yes, sir. What major did you take? Accounting, sir. Okay. What is your grade point average? It's 3.8. Excellent. You should be able to get a good job. What does the woman probably respond? A. I don't know. B. I hope not. C. I'm happy. D. I hope so. Part 3. Questions 8 to 11. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear some dialogues or monologues spoken in English. The dialogues or monologues will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers are saying. After you listen to the dialogue or monologue, Look at the five pictures provided in your test book and decide which would be the most suitable one for the dialogue or monologue you have heard. Number 8. The company gave door prizes after the party. There was a gas stove, an electric oven, toaster, water dispenser and a blender. Did you get one? Yes, I got a blender. Which picture shows the electrical appliance the woman got? Number 8. The company gave door prizes after the party. There was a gas stove, an electric oven, toaster, water dispenser and a blender. Did you get one? Yes, I got a blender. Which picture? shows the electrical appliance the woman got. Number 9 It looks like that you are very busy preparing for the coming meeting. Yes, I am. Because my laptop is broken, I have to use a typewriter and unluckily I am not familiar with typing on a typewriter. I can understand that. Keep working and be patient. Everything will be fine. I'll try my best. Which picture is being described in the dialogue? Number 9. It looks like that you are very busy preparing for the coming meeting. Yes, I am. Because my laptop is broken, I have to use a typewriter and unluckily, I am not familiar with typing on a typewriter. I can understand that. Keep working and be patient. Everything will be fine. I'll try my best. Which picture is being described in the dialogue? Number 10. Water hyacinth is a pleasant smelling plant with a lot of small flowers that grow close together around one thick stem. For years, 
this plant has been regarded as a destroyer of our ecosystem. It easily grows on water and it can cover the surface of the water in a very short time. Nowadays, this plant has become an icon in our country. It can be made into various household products such as carpets, bags, clothes, scarves, shawls, and tablecloths, etc. Which picture shows a product made of hyacinth? Number 10. Water hyacinth is a pleasant smelling plant with a lot of small flowers that grow close together around one thick stem. For years, this plant has been regarded as a destroyer of our ecosystem. It easily grows on water and it can cover the surface of the water in a very short time. Nowadays, this plant has become an icon in our country. It can be made into various household products such as carpets, bags, clothes, scarves, shawls, and tablecloths, etc. Which picture shows a product made of hyacinth? Number 11. There are some phenomena which happen in Indonesia, such as landslide, flood, tsunami, volcanic eruption, and others. The landslide often occurs when the land is unstable. A landslide is the movement of rock, debris, or earth down a slope. They result from the failure of the materials which make up the hill slope and are driven by the force of gravity. Landslides are also known as landslips, slumps, or slope failure. Some of the most common types of landslide are earth slides, rock falls, and debris flows. Which picture is most suitable to the story? Number 11. There are some phenomena which happen in Indonesia, such as landslide, flood, tsunami, volcanic eruption, and others. The landslide often occurs when the land is unstable. A landslide is the movement of rock, debris, or earth down a slope. They result from the failure of the materials which make up the hill slope and are driven by the force of gravity. Landslides are also known as landslips, slumps, or slope failure. Some of the most common types of landslide are earth slides, rock falls, and debris flows. Which picture is most suitable to the story? Part 4. Questions 12 to 15. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several monologues. Each monologue will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers are saying. After you hear the monologue and the question about it, read the five possible answers and decide which one would be the best answer to the question you have heard. Questions 12 and 13 are based on the following description. London Bridge refers to several historical bridges that have spanned the River Thames between the City of London and Southwark in central London. The current crossing, which opened to traffic in 1973, is a box girder bridge built from concrete and steel. This replaced a 19th century stone arch bridge, which in turn superseded a 600 year old medieval structure. This was preceded by a succession of timber bridges, the first built by the Roman founders of London. Number 12. Who first built the bridge? Number 13. What's the bridge made of? Questions 12 and 13 are based on the following description. London Bridge refers to several historical bridges that have spanned the River Thames between the City of London and Southwark in central London. 
The current crossing, which opened to traffic in 1973, is a box girder bridge, built from concrete and steel. This replaced a 19th century stone arch bridge, which in turn superseded a 600 year old medieval structure. This was preceded by a succession of timber bridges, the first built by the Roman founders of London. Number 12. Who first built the bridge? Number 13. What's the bridge made of? Questions 14 and 15 are based on the following monologue. Long time ago, there lived Mr. and Mrs. Brownbird in Papua. Mr. Brown always complained about his feathers. He thought they were ugly. He was jealous of his friend, Mr. Greenbird. I want to have beautiful feathers like Mr. Greenbird. His feathers are not brown like mine, they are beautiful. Said Mr. Brown to his wife. Honey, you must thank God for your feathers. With feathers like this, humans are not interested in us, so they will not hunt us, said Mrs. Brownbird. Mr. Brownbird then went to the God of Jungle. He wanted to have beautiful feathers like Mr. Greenbird. The God of the Jungle made his wish come true. Mr. Brownbird's new feathers. Were like the colors of a rainbow. He went home, but his wife did not recognize him anymore. Mr. Brownbird was very sad. He knew that he had just made a very big mistake. He left his house. His name also changed to Chandrawasi, which means a bird of paradise. Number 14. What did Mr. Brown always complain about? Number 15. Why was it dangerous for Mr. Brown to have the beautiful feathers? Questions 14 and 15 are based on the following monologue. Long time ago, there lived Mr. and Mrs. Brownbird in Papua. Mr. Brown always complained about his feathers. He thought they were ugly. He was jealous of his friend. Mr. Greenbird. I want to have beautiful feathers like Mr. Greenbird. His feathers are not brown like mine, they are beautiful, said Mr. Brown to his wife. Honey, you must thank God for your feathers. With feathers like this, humans are not interested in us, so they will not hunt us, said Mrs. Brownbird. Mr. Brownbird then went to the God of Jungle. He wanted to have beautiful feathers. Like Mr. Greenbird. The God of the Jungle made his wish come true. Mr. Brownbird's new feathers were like the colors of a rainbow. He went home, but his wife did not recognize him anymore. Mr. Brownbird was very sad. He knew that he had just made a very big mistake. He left his house. His name also changed to Chandrawasi, which means a bird of paradise. Number 14. What did Mr. Brown always complain about?